And good morning, people. Welcome back to J Cocoon 2. Wind Harvest 3. So we're walking along the Wind Forest. That much is pretty much obvious. The big question is have the enemies changed? And is there anything interesting around here? I'm not expecting anything valuable, but the enemies have at least changed. Question is, is there anything new? That we'll have to find out. Three of these though. Um, this isn't exactly dangerous, it's just likely going to take a little bit longer than it should. Because sleep. So unless I actually put them to all to sleep myself they're going to put mine to sleep. Yeah, as you can see, this is just going to take longer than it really should. over so yeah if they're not strong they pretty much spam the sleep sp uh, sleep skill just gotta get through it I suppose so we've got the sleep and what's the other one what's the bug that we have poison or defense down And the answer is, after we fought those Brella Pelons, defense down. So we've got sleep and defense down. Well, I suppose we can put it simply that the next few areas have no damage being done to me whatsoever. Summer Kilner is a very good skill, but it really needs to be followed up with something. Sleep is a very good skill, but it needs to be followed up with something. They're just not good on their own. And with an attack, hit of 20, even Semikilna will not do anything. So there should be one more set of uh, bugs probably back where the start is or not at all okay we'll just uh, make our way into the ochre vines oh hello there I don't really have anything to combine do I no But there's a uh, flower if you want it. Still, the best place is in the last wind forest of the actual 
oh, uh, story areas. I can't remember its now uh, name up right now. Um, but it's within the just a couple of uh, oak vines down the road, so it's much simpler to get to. This one you have to go through three, um, two princess vines. Yeah, it's a bit longer. Another hide spore and anything. Ah, we do have a bug medal bout. I'm much different from myself up until yesterday. I can win if I follow the book. Come on, come on, let's have a match. The good thing about this is it's likely a bit stronger. Yeah. Okay, here goes. Then we can't be standing around here all day. We do have stronger bugs. However, they're just bugs. And since they're just bugs, they will die just like that. Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm actually gonna heal that poison because there's no need for me to keep it there. There's definitely a, a little bit more danger in this. They've got some fairly substantial attacks. Well, He's missing two beasts, so it's not brilliant, but it's better than what we fought before as a bug, uh, against a bug beast hunter. And we do have really you're putting power drain a physical attack on two very magical beasts you sure i'm scary when i'm angry <clears throat> well let's just finish this Well, we do need four more medals from you. But that will come in time. Ouch! Ow! Ow! I'm scared! My whole body is swollen! Ow! Leave me alone! I'll give you this! So you already have lots? Okay. I'll give you this too. Uh, Debbie Buggage. I think I need one of those actually. Please, leave me alone. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna do anything. Sheesh. We're in trouble. That's a bullying scene. Can we sell this game? But he was the one who started it. I'm not a particular liker of bugs, I think I've made that plenty well known. But I do have to raise a few for something later, unfortunately, so I will be keeping hold of it. Yeah, I'm definitely not a like of bugs or their beast hunters, but uh, we've got um, got to deal with them, unfortunately. But fairly small, fairly uh, easy le uh, level there. It is 
one of the smallest, so yeah. So let's move on to Wind Harvest 4 where hopefully we find something that can actually do some damage to me. Rather than just sleep and defence down. At the moment, not really. Well, if I find anything, I'll show it. Unfortunately, all that we had were, well, the basics. Nothing really stood out. So, it's pretty much what we're picking up again. Which is going to be a bunch of books, probably some pied spores. There's not going to be a seed beast. We might have something in the uh, key spore ogre vine. I'm sort of still expecting an Alco uh, fight, but that's probably the only thing that might happen. Heck, I might even use a couple of these books just for the fun of it. Well? Oh, Cahill! What's wrong? Why are you so surprised? Did I do something wrong? No, nothing wrong. Actually, the timing is quite right. Cahill, I have to defeat you. Huh? Defeat me? Yes, I took a job to defeat you. I don't really want to. Either way, he still gets defeated. No. Anyway, shall we battle? It's not an Alco trainer, but Mint will do, and she's got Alcos anyway. Go! Don't pull any punches! It's my turn, right? Okay, first! Actually, that particular formation looks very threatening. <laughs> You also have mouths. And a couple of Nars. Okay, um... High Spirits, okay, that's fine, sort of. And yeah, I was sort of expecting that Slanet. Advocate as well. And stunt. Okay, well. You actually could prove a problem. Skewers? No kamikaze hits. Oh, and yeah, there's the skewers. Okay, so far I've almost killed one. I'll definitely take that. And yeah, let's go with that. Alumnite. That is the spell I cannot get. Eliminate. I will be able to get that one. Yeah, Salamnite is the S version of Slum. It is actually impossible for me to get that in this game. So unfortunately it will be used against me 
but I can't use it. That's a wow. Um, I'm gonna have to wait till that wakes up. That beast on the front, though, that male is very, very silly. It's actually one of the, my most hated looking beasts in the entire game. Okay, uh, still don't have my Salam beast up. And there goes my sleep. Most of her beasts out is just still not sure what that uh, Earthside had. I believe that one had Mixia, but all she's really got left is Eliminate and this. So I'm not really too worried now. But definitely her formation is quite formidable and really Do I have an awakened book? No. I honestly can't wait until my beasts are working a bit better in formation like these are. At the moment, this works, but I still have plenty of room to uh, make improvements. And even then, it's unlikely that uh, I'm going to be quite as good as these. Luckily though, no more sleep. a little bit of a problem or it would be if it actually did any healing <laughs> but we're done so nice showing for mint for her first fight against us they're going to get tougher She goes. So, someone's putting bounties on us, but really, that's not really a surprise because we take bounties to fight the other NPCs as well. We've got one to go up against Kokona soon. So, everything will. It does sort of turn around in the end, and no, I don't want that. Good 
Confusion book. Another dimwit book. And our final one for this area, another botulos, um, botulism book. So, really, this place has books, books and more books. Some are useful, some less so. So Wind Harvest 5, um, have things changed? I'm expecting them to actually. Yeah, we've got Poison Storm. Lots and lots of Poison Storm. Should be three of them. Which there are. And the last one is the Confusion alcove which I'm not particularly looking forward to, but I suppose I have to deal with it. At least it's not, that, not as bad as instant death. Okay, that's interesting. Only two of the uh, total loss alcos, uh, the confusion skill. Um, bit surprised actually that it isn't free. But they are especially fast, they are especially strong. I'm still not looking forward to them, to be perfectly honest. Confusion is just one of those statuses I hate across the board in RPG style games. Okay, we have this area cleared, and yeah, there's nothing but confusion and uh, poison around here. So, yes, very much more dangerous, but mm, yeah, I would actually say this is probably one of the more dangerous areas. It's very large, uh, you have the chance of, if you are hit with confusion, of actually doing yourself more damage than the enemies will do to you. So is up there. The area is fairly long winded as well. There's a lot of places, a lot of small little hideaways where they could get behind you. It's not expected, but it's possible. I'm expecting to run out of space in a moment. I suppose though, while I'm picking these things up, I might as well make use of them in battle, if it comes about. Now Beast Hunter. This would be my fourth medal. Hmm. Sure. Hello sir, how are you doing? Seen any coma? Oh, there you are. I spy a coma. I'm gonna catch him! Yep, 
he's still crazy. However, all right, let the battle begin. So let's go. You prepared? His beasts definitely aren't crazy. We have wind mouths, uh, uh, fire mouths. I'm expecting there to be a single earth, uh, earth mouth on the back. Oh, there's two. And they do have Mitria, so... And Barrier. Ooh. That's a combination. So they do have Attack Up and Defense Up. That might be something I want to get rid of soon. Um... Yeah, let's go spine this book. Apparently it does have the chance to miss and they have shockwave. Okay, um Really? Mitrio is not that powerful. And they also have Atlantic. Okay, this is actually worse than I expected. Shockwave is strong. Um, Mitria is strong. They also have Barion. Mal's are fast overall. So actually hitting them is harder than you might imagine. Luckily they only seem to have one side that actually does damage at the moment. We haven't seen their water side yet, though. Really? Okay. I'm just waiting for the uh, Mitria to wear off at the moment. thing you can say about this group is it's not particularly offensive. There's a lot of defense there, uh, Barion, Mitria and Adslanet, but there's no offense actually happening. So this is just a battle of attrition really. Pretty much everyone is asleep.
if I can just get that Mitria one out, that will do just fine because he's the one that's really in the way. The Barian one, it definitely helps to get rid of as well. But So, Medi Knight, please don't have. And yeah, no, you have life steal. That's fine. Life steal is f easy to deal with. I can heal through that. So all I have really against me is one life still and possibly shockwave. Yeah, I can handle that. Now that Mitri has worn off completely, it's just basically get through our planet. Easier said than done, because it seems to be hitting me all the time. Okay, the other, you do have enough for that, Slanet. You must have only had just enough, and... Really, game? This fight has gone on way too long compared to how it should have done. He's hit me a few times. The rest has been Mitria and Adslanet.
Okay, I think, I think we're finally there. He can't use any more skills. He can't hide behind any more barriers or that slam it. His one beast is asleep. Let's finish this off. And a talk, which I actually don't Farewell. need. Farewell! Bye bye! Talk? Yeah, not really. Um, I can get them whenever I want. That. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that and just move on because. Hmm. I've had worse fights, but at least those worse fights were dangerous. That was just annoying. One last, uh, yep, yeah, there we go. On four items. the ogre vines done we've fought a male beast hunter we've got a tock egg which really isn't worth it for what we've, we went through um tock eggs are the least of my worries i think the what i really want is the next one possibly i might even have all the tock eggs on no, the male eggs i need not certain i'll have to look into that but next time, Wind Harvest 6, and hopefully less um, rage-inducing fights like that last one. Do have to deal with Confuse and Poison, though. Yeah, I'd rather deal with that than the uh, that male beast hunter. So until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.